another episode of Cooking with Fire here at Fayetteville City Fire Department. Today I have firefighter Jacob Rye and his mother, Teresa, who works in our uh, admin department. How are y'all doing today? Doing good. Great, sir. Doing good. Good, good. So what are we going to be cooking today, guys? We're going to be cooking some vegan stroganoff. All right. So if uh, you want to go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all, Jacob, before we jump right in, how long have you been with the department? I've been with the city for eight months now, and so far, you know, I like it. You know, it's a very different job. You know, it's, it's a job where you wake up every day, and you never know what to expect when you go to work. So, right. so far, I love it. It's, sometimes it's busy, and sometimes it's not so busy, it right? And I love the shifts. The right. four-day breaks that we get is awesome. Yeah, four-day <laughs> breaks are great thing. Ms. Teresa, how long have you been with the city? I've been in the city almost 12 years. I uh, started out in the police department okay. two years and worked over to fire department. It's an awesome department. Been there Wonderful. for about 10 years. Um, personnel technician and I love it. I love my job. Wonderful. We do get to work with some good people. Yes. And as you see in the fire department, there's several different types of jobs that you can work in. Not mm -hmm. necessarily just fighting. Right. All the time, right? Yep. Exactly. So today we're going to do something we do best, cooking. You know, we cook yes. a lot at the fire yes. station, right? Definitely. So today, what are we cooking again? Vegan stroganoff. Vegan stroganoff. Yeah, so, so what exactly does vegan mean? So it's all plant-based, no animal ingredients in this recipe. All right. So no no meats. No meats. No eggs and no whole milk, right? Nope. Oh wow. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and lead off for us and show us what we got here. Okay. So we're gonna be cooking with some coconut oil. We got some vegan butter here. We also got some garlic chopped up. We got chopped up onions. We got about, I'd say, a half a cup of parsley chopped up into fine pieces here. We also got criminy mushrooms chopped up in about half pieces. And then we, i say about a half a cup of nutritional yeast here and a lemon. I got a question for you, Jacob. Sir. What is a criminy mushroom? Criminy, well, it's kind of, it's kind of a bigger mushroom than, you know, regular, like you see in regular mushrooms. Kind of gives it that meat taste. Kind of takes the replacement of yeah. meat in this recipe. Kind of firm? Yeah, kind of firm. I got you. I had never uh, heard of a, a criminy mushroom yeah. until recently, but you know you're right. They, they are a lot more firm. And what is the last thing here? Nutritional. Nutritional. Yeast? Yes. Okay. And this, what is that? This is. I mean, it's loaded with a lot of nutrition. It's got all kind of B vitamins. Okay. Iron, protein. I mean, it's it's loaded. It's basically like what it means. Nutritional yeast. It's very nutritious. So this is really where you get your, you know, your supplement from instead yes, of having yes. the meats and things like that. Yes. Yeah. This is where you get all you can your get all the supplements. And it's, it kind of gives it a cheesy taste in the recipe. Yeah, too. it does. Well, wonderful. It kind of thickens it a little bit. Well, good. Now, Miss uh, Teresa, are you full blown vegan? No. Now I have to say, um, Jake started out as a vegetarian. We've done the vegetarian. We've done the pescatarian, which I enjoy that. That's for the seafood. We eat seafood. Now he's the last what six months going full blown vegan. Vegan, yeah. you have to be very dedicated for it. But I'm not a real big meat eater. But eating with him, the vegetarian, I lost like 45 pounds. Wow. Um, and it's really it's good food and it's healthy food. And I felt so much better. Sure. So I mean, I enjoy eating his food. It just makes it easier for just to cook right. together and eat things together. Right. Hey, I agree 100 percent. So today we're gonna see what it's all about. Yeah. Go ahead, Jacob. Lead all us right. off. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start frying some of these onions and garlic. All right. And how, how many onions did you say this was? This is one onion. Okay. So one onion, that's all you're going to really need. Yeah, you can definitely smell the onions and the garlic. You're real strong. Oh, when I was chopping it up, it smelled so good in here. I love the fresh vegetables. It, right. All of it was fresh. There's mm -hmm. a lot of preparation that went in, but um, it's... I think it's going to turn out great. This is the first time that I've had a vegan meal, um, but I, I do look forward to it. I we really use do. a lot of the coconut oil, um, olive oil. Coconut oil is a lot better to cook with. Sure. Olive oil is a lot with the sautéing and, and using right. it as like a sauce that we use sometimes. Well, Jacob yes. was also telling me that there's more uses for the coconut oil. Yes, we, you, can, you, you can put this in your hair. You can use it as chapstick. Your face. I, I even put good... it in my dog food. Yes. I use it for a, a lot of stuff. So, you know, you don't use any animal-based products being a vegan, correct? Yeah, just like your toothpaste or shampoos or conditioners, stuff like, or, you know, body wash, or even kind of clothes, which is kind of difficult with the fire department because, you know, we got a lot of leather stuff. Right. Leather is traditional but, here as a fire department. But there's right? nothing you can really do that's about right. it. But that, that's, that's amazing. Now, you said in your, in your dog food as well, so is your dog vegan? 
He's, he's trying to make the dog vegan. <laughs> <laughs> he eats a lot like a vegan, but he does eat meat. Okay. What kind of dog do you have? A pit bull. Oh. He's a big baby. Yeah. He's our baby. I guess you don't picture a pit bull being a vegan, but hey. <laughs> he even has a dog eating very healthy. Wow. And he's a big buff dog. He's a yeah. healthy dog. So what do we have going on in the pot here? All right, so we're just going to cook this onions for a little bit. All right. Before we throw in the vegetable broth and the pasta. And what kind of heat are you cooking this on? Looks like maybe medium high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say about medium high. Okay. Now, I see you have your pot handle turned inward. Which is a great safety yes. feature. Why do we do this? You know, just keep people from knocking it over. You know, like, hey, there's kids at my house, so they love to reach up and grab stuff off the right. stove or knock something over. They kind of prevent them from reaching up there and knocking it over. Sure. Sometimes we do get in a hurry, and if we're reaching around to get something, we could brush and, and, yes. and knock it mm -hmm. off the stove. Yes. That's a great thing. So let's, let's always keep that handle turned in, you know, to keep yes. the food on the stove. Definitely. We try and watch towels because I'm back when I'm cooking, I'm chopping, I'm wiping my hands. I keep it on my shoulder not to put it on the stove, you know, put it away from the stove. For sure. You don't want that towel to catch on fire, mm -hmm. right? It happens. Right. So this this is a vegan butter? Yes, vegan butter. And so does it taste a lot like regular butter? It does. It tastes it does. exactly it tastes the same. It tastes just like the same. Wow. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. There's so many different uh, alternatives to what yes. I guess we're used to, right? Some of, you can find that you can find these vegan butters and just about any grocery store. It's kind of difficult to find. You kind of gotta like look around. Right. Basically, take your time in the grocery store to find a lot of this stuff. Well, we did all find all of these ingredients local. Yes. So uh, that's wonderful. We found them right here in Fayetteville. Yes, so sir. I agreed. When I, when I received your recipe, I had several questions, <laughs> of course, but it was all found right here in Fayetteville. So yeah. these things are readily available. You just have yes. to look a little bit, right? Yes, definitely. I think most of the time when I go to the grocery store now to go shopping, trying to eat healthier, I just go on the outsides of the grocery store. I never go on the inside aisles, right. except for I want to get like the quinoa or rice or pasta, but it's a lot of in the, the produce stand. Right. That's where I get a lot of the bulk of my groceries and, you know, some of the dairy for like me, but, um, or the almond milk for Jake. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's a very healthy li lifestyle and it's a life changing Thing that you know you have to really be dedicated to it. You want to get that vegetable broth inside the mm -hmm. measuring cup? Well they always say something that's worth doing is not always easy, right? That's yeah. right. So yep. it's definitely as a, you can tell a lifestyle change and um very beneficial from what I hear. And I, I talk, heard all good things from you Jacob regarding this. So what are you doing Teresa? This is um, vegetable stock that we use okay. um, in place of like um, beef broth or um, chicken bouillon or anything like that. Sure. Sometimes Jake uses like a um, uh, paste okay. and he adds the water to it. Okay. Um, but this time we just went with the the broth. All right. So this you is kind of like the a water. pre mix. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now, what kind of uh, noodles are you using here? We're using farfalle pasta, or also known as bow tie pasta. You can use, if you wanted to, you could use rotini pasta. That'll work. Or any kind of pasta that you wanted to use will be just fine. But I like the bow tie pasta with this recipe. Now, this is not regular pasta though, right? No, there's Because no I know normal pasta is rolled out and it has eggs, huge eggs yeah. and things like that. So what, what type of pasta is this? Is it wheat based or a, this, a different plant based? Yeah, well, yeah. I think it is a wheat based. The, the basic ingredients is, let's see. Yes. Durham wheat semolina. So just as long as you don't see that there doesn't contain any eggs or in sure. the pasta, you should sure. be just fine. Well, good. <laughs> Good. And when I was looking for that, there were a lot of options. You know, there were a lot of different options. There were actually some noodles made directly from vegetables. Um, that oh, I yeah, the zoodles. Yeah, yeah, the zoodles. zucchini. That's exactly right. I've gotten those little spiralizers now that I want us to try the, the zucchini. Um, but we always have the, the, what's that squash that we make? The spaghetti squash? Yeah, the spaghetti squash. And use that for like noodles. Sure. Oh, it's so good. That's my become wife, one of my favorites. My wife is very fond of the zoodles. Yes. And uh, we, we uh, substitute a lot of pork-based items and stuff with turkey or, or ground chicken. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not so easy at the firehouse, you know. A lot of times yeah. at the firehouse, we don't eat, eat a lot of vegan-based meals. So how's meat it and been? potatoes. That's yeah. right, meat and potatoes. <laughs> Jake, how's it been in the firehouse eating as a vegan? Well, I mean, it can be difficult at times, but I usually bring my own stuff to the, the department and cook sure. them on. If they want to eat it, they can, but usually they don't really... They don't really want to eat the, the vegan stuff. they got to have their meat in their meals. Hey, that's understandable, right? But it's a great thing that you continue to do this and, yeah. you know, that we're able to see that there's definitely health benefits to it, obviously. Oh, yes. And uh, 
you know, every year we do go through some physical training and mm -hmm. uh, some testing to make sure that we meet uh, physical standards. Yes. So this is a great way, as I can tell, to uh, continue to meet those standards. I think a lot of our firefighters are getting on board with eating healthier now and um, may not be going to the vegetarian uh, sure. lifestyle, but like you said, the turkey or um, chicken and trying to steer away from some of the carbs, the pastas, where, you know, Jake wants to put on weight. Right. <laughs> when we cook, I, I don't want to put weight on, so he right. eats a lot of the pastas, and I'll just make the vegetable stuff, and I'll right. eat that part of it. Still All trying right. to bring this to a boil, or do yeah, we'll, we'll go, go ahead and add them in? We'll go ahead and add the mushrooms in there okay. now. And you can use any kind of mushrooms in this recipe, baby, you know, portobello, or any kind of mushrooms you really find. I know cremony mushrooms might be difficult to find sure. in some grocery stores. Sure. So if you can't find them, you know, any mushroom will work. Okay. Um, now, talking about stations, I've been at both types of stations. You know, I've been at a station where, no, don't change the recipe, don't alter it at all. But then I've oh, also been at stations that, hey, if we can make it a little bit healthier, let's make it healthier, you know, yeah. which is a good thing. And it's, it's different at each station depending on your crew. And uh, your crew means a lot. You know, it's like your second family. Yeah, You're there. Um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 24 hours at a time. So like being out of your, your regular house. That's right. You have to get comfortable with these guys. Now, we are forever looking at recipes and okay. trying to get different ideas of trying different things. Sure. And sometimes it's a hit and miss when we make it. It doesn't turn out right. that well. And then we'll just kind of add our stuff to it. So we're not really good at, like, measuring things. Right. We just kind of add, you know, we taste it. You know, if it needs a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So it's kind of we just make it our own, our own recipe. All right. So we got some almond milk here. We're going to add maybe, let's see, about a cup maybe. Or if it needs more, we'll add two. Looks like we're going to put, I'd say about a cup and a half, so far. cup and three quarter. Okay. And we also added four cups of that vegetable broth. And we're going to let this cook here for just a little while. All right. Now, I do have a question for you. As far as the milk goes, I see you're using almond milk today. But is there another alternative that you could use yeah. for this, or do you mainly go to almond milk? Yeah, I usually use almond milk. Or, you know, there's all kind of milks. You can use macadamia milk, cashew milk, right. pea milk. Um, soy, can you use soy, soy milk? Soy milk, can you use coconut milk. Whatever milk, whatever plant-based milk you can I use got for this. Do all of them have a different, like a distinct taste, or uh, yeah. do they all kind of taste about the same? Yeah, the coconut milk, I mean, it tastes like coconut, okay. but the almond milk kind of tastes like macadamia yes. milk, kind of tastes like soy it's milk. It's not much of a difference. Okay. Kinda it tastes a lot the same. So they're very... Inter interchangeable, yeah. right? So if you went to the store and you want to prepare this recipe and say they didn't have almond milk, but they had a different uh, type of milk that wasn't from uh, like a cow or whole milk, yeah. as long as it's plant-based, we'd yeah. be good to go, right? Yeah. All right. So we have this boiling, right? Yeah, so we're going to let this cook for, I'd say, maybe 10 minutes, and okay. we'll get back and we'll add the rest of the ingredients right. in there. Well, we're going to cut now, and we're going to go ahead and go into one of our safety messages. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. When a fire breaks out, seconds may be all the time you have to reach safety. And while flames are the most obvious danger, just as deadly is the smoke that can suffocate you and prevent you from seeing the way out in an emergency. One easy way to help protect yourself and your family is to close your doors at night. Closing your doors can slow down smoke from filling up your room and give you time to open a window and or call 911 to demonstrate the difference closing a door can make. We set up a smoke machine outside of a room at a fire station and ran it twice. Once with the door open and once with the door closed. Within seconds, smoke began filling up the room when the door was left open. When the door was closed, the door is holding back the smoke. At 30 seconds, the open doors allowed the smoke to fill up the room to the point where visibility is reduced to inches starting at just three feet off the ground. And when the door was left closed, smoke is just now starting to puff in around the edges of the door, but at a much slower rate, even after a minute. Smoke is just now entering through the gap at the bottom of the door. As this video demonstrates, closing your door and having working smoke alarms can give you the time that can make the difference ensuring that a fire doesn't become a deadly tragedy. All right, so we're going to add some seasoning in here. We got some salt, and you can use sea salt. That's what I usually use, but today we're just going to use regular salt. We got some black pepper, and you can add as much black pepper as you like. I like, with this recipe, I like using a lot. I know my mom doesn't like me using a lot, but I like it with that spicy taste. So how much salt is it to taste for both of them, really? Yeah. The salt and the pepper? Yeah, Wonderful. really how much you really want in there. You need to keep adding black pepper. And I guess it could be the same way with the garlic, too, right? You know, to taste. Yeah, it's to it. taste, okay. yeah. And I love the garlic more. and the onions and the mushrooms together. It tastes so good and it smells good when it's for cooking. Sure. 
mix cool. that in there really good. We're gonna add some nutritional yeast in there. And I'd say I usually use about a quarter of a cup or half a cup. Okay. However much you really want. Now, does this kind of um, absorb some of the the liquid in there, or not really? It just mixes in. How does that that work? It does give that little yeah, thickening. It, it kind of thickens okay. it up a little bit. Because you want to get that nice creamy texture. You don't want it, you know, too soupy. All right. And how much uh, vegan butter did you just add? I'd say that's probably about a quarter cup. Okay. All right. And I like adding a lot in there too. It makes it more creamy. Sure. I guess you can always add more. You just can't really yeah. take it away once it's in there, right? Right. Add it little by little. We're gonna mix that in here. It smells so good. It does smell. Get excited. It smells good. It's getting a lot thicker too. Mm -hmm. yeah, more like a cream base. All right, so once you mix all that in, you're going to sit there and let it cook for, I'd say, about five to ten minutes until it gets nice and creamy. Okay. Now, do you, the milk, do you add more milk or is that just as needed? Yeah, that's what I keep as needed if I need any more. If it's, okay. If all it's right. Not, if it's getting too creamy too fast, I'll go and add milk in there. So we can go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients in here. So we're going to add some parsley in there. And I like to add the parsley and the lemon in there last so it doesn't cook all that nutrients out of it. We're going to put our lemon here in this lemon squeezer. So it gives, gives a little bit of tang to it. Right. Yeah, so yeah, it gives it that tang. tang so it's taste. to taste also, right? Mm-hmm. I got you. It's vitamin C. There you go. This looks like it's going to be full of vitamins, right? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It smells really good. Yeah, it does need smell a vision. It smells so good. We get this stirred in there, it's about ready to go. So, Jacob, what's some of the nutritional benefits of you know living a, a vegan lifestyle? What, what's some differences that you've seen? For me, I didn't see that much of a difference because I was already vegetarian at the time, but I, I know I did notice a difference when I switched over to the vegetarian diet to a vegan diet that I had you know energy levels through the roof and my recovery time when I work out, you know. It, Recovery time's a lot faster. Right. You know, you have more energy to, you know, finish your workouts all throughout the, where you can, you know, say I eat a big meal. When I, when I used to eat meat, after the big meal, I just want to sit there and just sit on the couch. Right. When you eat a big meal on a vegan diet, you know, you're ready to go. But, you know, people had, you know, they said they had clear skin. My, my skin kind of cleared up when I went on a vegan diet. I noticed I definitely felt a lot better. So ever since, ever since then, you know, I never wanted to go back. Sometimes we do have to jump right up and go do something. You might go from eating dinner to a working house fire. So yes. that's a good thing, you know, not to feel yeah. too full. Sometimes, yeah. you know, we can get there and be sluggish. So, you know, that's something great. You know, think about it at dinner especially. So we like, you know, start getting towards downtime for the day or, or something like that. You want to relax. So, yeah, you definitely don't want to uh, be too overdone. So if you have something maybe that's a little bit lighter, you yeah, know, a lighter hey. Meal you're probably a lot, lot better off. The last thing I want to do when I'm on fire is throw up in my SUVA mask. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> you know, a lot of people always talk about how expensive it is to eat the organic. Um, you know, Jake always says, you know, that's why how expensive it is to eat healthy is, right. he says it's cheaper than a heart attack. Yeah, that's true. That's a vegan diet, yeah, a vegan diet can be expensive, but, you know, if you just eat the basic stuff, you can probably, you could save me some money, but You're if you go into about where you get the same amount of money. Yeah, if you go into like the vegan ice creams and the sure. vegan cakes and all that unhealthy yeah. stuff, then you, you'll, you'll start spending a lot of money. So there's actually, you know, you probably save a lot of money too from not going out to eat, yeah. right? Because yeah. a lot of things will be prepared at home or yeah. uh, meal prep yeah. uh, brought to work with you and things like that. So I guess it could eventually equal out, you know? Yeah, it does. So yeah. It, it makes a lot of sense. And definitely it sounds like the health benefits are there. So, uh, you know, we do need to stay healthy, so it looks he like does, it's been a great meal. Yeah, he does a lot of research and makes sure, you know, that he's got plenty of his protein. Because a lot of people always ask, you know, well, how do you get, you know, your protein in sure. if you're a vegan? He actually gets probably more protein than most people do that eat meat. Yeah. And sure. this, this recipe here is loaded with protein. That nutritional yeast has eight grams of protein and just one serving, and a serving is only a quarter of a cup. So we use probably, I'd say, half a cup in this ingredient, so including with the pasta and the mushrooms, you're, you're getting all the protein you need in this recipe. Wonderful, wonderful. So, um, is it about ready? How, how far yeah, are we? I think it's, yeah, I'd say it's about ready now. Can I put some in a bowl, or do you think it's ready? Yeah, if you don't mind, let's go ahead and get a little bit in this bowl. And I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley on top of it, make it look pretty. Sure, this is probably good. 
right here. Sure, there you go. So it definitely looks good. It's it's mighty warm still going straight out of the pot. Yeah. But it smells great and it's very colorful. Mm -hmm. And um I think I will taste it real quick. It's hot. It is hot. Ready to do a little happy dance, ready to eat. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. you can't really tell any difference from this and regular stroganoff. You know, you don't oh, even yeah. really miss the meat. Mm -mm. So That's I think crazy. it's great, man. You know, it's definitely a great alternative. I think it'll do great in a firehouse. Oh, so, yeah. hey, I'm all, I'm gang. I'm ready for it. And it's good to go with the side of maybe some sweet potatoes with a little bit of cinnamon yeah. on it. Um, or Brussels sprouts, which a lot, yes. a lot of times it will make, with some garlic on it and olive oil. Yes, you can use this as a main dish or a side dish for mm -hmm. whatever you want. Well, awesome. So you normally head it up or, or pair it with sweet potatoes, you said? Mm -hmm. Or do you eat a lot of sweet potatoes? Yeah, I love sweet potatoes. It's one of my favorite foods. Well, guys, we really appreciate uh, all you do, not only for the department, but for cooking with fire. Um, don't forget to visit us at fetvillenc.gov slash cooking with fire and follow us on Facebook at Brave the Fire. Have a great day and again Jacob, Teresa, thank you so much. Thank for you for having us. We enjoyed it.